I did level one and level two coaching somewhere around 2015. I can't quite remember exactly. <laughs> I think at the heart of it, I wanted to do coach training because I wanted to have a positive impact on people. I had grand plans of doing a master's. And so I really enjoyed that it was connected with Charles Sturt University. I enjoyed the fact that it had a really academic base to it. My favorite part of my study was undoubtedly the coaching, not so much the essay writing from the other end of the scale. I would say that I use the coaching skills in almost everything that I do. Um, I have got, uh, of course, coaching clients that I use it with. Um, would love more coaching clients, let me put it out there. <laughs> and in podcasts, when I'm, you know, it's about gleaning people's stories. And a lot of the time people don't know what's made them who they are, how they've written their own story. And so I've found it really valuable to understand how to sit and allow the person to explore their own answer. That's been really amazing for in every aspect of my work. You know, it's things like, of course, having a tool belt of all of the frameworks and, and um, uh, strategies and, and activities and all the things that we learned there. But also, it's the understanding that dialogue happens in the silence using mindfulness, which I've always really loved and really committed to, but understanding how to um, just notice what's happening in the energy between you and the other person and being willing to sit with discomfort, sit with attention. That's been just illuminating. The main benefits of coaching skills for me would be a confidence in understanding that I can, that I can do this that I have the, um, you know, the basis, the knowledge, uh, the frameworks behind the conversation. So the, com the confidence has been really important to me. Um, and I think really being willing to take a risk with the dialogue. Um, you know, even just like, with my partner and with my daughter, she's 10, being willing to wait for her to tell me rather than fill in the sentence, which as parents we so want to do. We think we know. <laughs> and how often, if you're still and silent enough, do they say something that totally surprises you? That's changed everything for me as far as my daughter is concerned. And, and, even, and so in a coaching environment, the same thing happens where you are, you think you know, and you're waiting for your counterpart to answer, and they say something that just you could never have predicted. And that's what's so exciting, because often they didn't realise either. They didn't say the words are coming out of their mouths before they even realise. Uh, that's been just beautiful and really exciting. I would say the most impact in my life has been. Uh, Happy relationships, karma relationships. Growing in my skill as an interviewer has been really important to me. It's something I always really wanted to achieve. Knowing that I can sit with anyone and feel I'm okay with the silence. I think a lot of people are scared of that. I think a lot of people think, oh, I better feel this moment. Um, and I don't really, it doesn't matter to me who I'm sitting with, whether it's, you know, my daughter or whether it's, you know, someone very famous or important. You know, I'm not intimidated by that space. That's been really valuable to me. The thing that ISL coaching has given me is like a magic key to dialogue. Very few people listen actively and really enter a space where they are curious about what the person is saying, they don't bring in their own agenda or their own meaning. That to me is profound and I found that really illuminating and, and just exciting to listen to people and watch people. I have to remind myself to do it. I'm not suggesting that it comes naturally every time I have a conversation with someone, but I really enjoy that mindful 
interacting with someone and learning about them. Because I was seeking an academic basis to this practice, I really enjoyed the pre-work, I really enjoyed the readings. They are some, I return to them often um, to remind myself that, you know, this is a discipline and it's not pop culture, it's not pop, pop psychology, that this is a discipline and that there is a theory behind it, which I really love. And I feel like it supports your understanding of what you're doing in the moment.